can you face this truth? Can you bear the truth on your own? Can you can you face yourself on your own? Or do you need something else? Someone else to hold your hand? Someone else to be there? Someone else to confirm your seeings, your findings? Something so that you don't feel alone, that you don't feel vulnerable. Can you bear the truth on your own? Everything in your life, everything that you've done in your life, has been with another. Everything with another. Even the mind is another. Everything you learn is from someone else. There is always someone else with you, whether it's in your mind or whether it's physical. You're always dependent on what other people say. You only value what other people say. So how can you go and face your truth? How can you go alone and face your truth when there was no one there to give you the help, the understanding, the knowledge that you're used to? You are used to everything being done for you. Every rule and regulation is done by another. Every encouraging moment in your life by another. And you can say, you can argue, you can say, yeah, well, what's the point of being on your own? It's not about the point of being on your own. It's can you be on your own? Can you live on your own? Can you see on your own? Instead of seeing with the eyes of others. Anyone in a suit. Anyone with a certificate. A doctorship. You value what they're saying. And you have to honor what they're saying. You have to respect what they're saying. So you save their information. You copy and save what they're saying. And you put it into your mind. Into your store consciousness. And every time someone says, here's a test paper, go in your room on your own and do this test. And the answer that comes is from these people, these, these skilled, educated people that you call, more educated than you. So they are answering the questions for you. The, the information you receive from these people is answering the questions. Every time you speak is information. Every time ego speaks, it is words that have came from another. These words that are speaking now were designed by another. They were explained how they would be spoken, what they meant by another. And if you don't know what they mean, you go to the dictionary. You don't go inside and say, I wonder what I mean. How can I do this without words? How can I be here without being reliant? on others. So how can you go and face your biggest fear? It's not the fear that scares you. It's not having someone to back you up. It's not having support, confirmation. You've never done anything on your own. You've never done anything on your own. When you meditate, you put the, the, the CD in and you meditate to another's voice. You cannot be on your own while mind is with you. And when you meditate, mind for a moment sometimes goes. You see? Gone. It's wondering, where am I going? What will he say? How can he encourage me? It left. 
It's the greatest opportunity of your life is to meditate and find the moment where you where you are gone. It's not the, you that goes, it's everything that you've learned, everything about you, your name, your identity, your information, your knowledge, your ego, your logic, your everything that you have been relying on is gone. That's why when people meditate and they get to this stage, suddenly their mind comes in and wakes them up. <gasps> Ooh, you nearly disappeared there. Ooh, I can't let you go on your own. Can you be on your own? Can you totally be naked on your own and face yourself? Can you face yourself with no one else, nothing being there? 